It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in tonight's battle. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles on Thursday night primetime. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by someone who has proved doubters wrong his entire career. MVP runner-up a season ago, Jalen Hurts. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yardage with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. How about the defense there trying to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing a tone for this one. Hurts. Over the middle to Smith. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Boy, oh, shifts past him. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it throw it and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 31 yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. And they run the option on second down. 
The quick feet by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Jackson going to hold on to it again. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It was Brandon Graham that came in there and got him. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They need 12 here. It's third down. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Marlon Humphrey with the tackle defensively. You don't see that a ton, do you? The cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. Here's Hill on the return. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. 
They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They begin with Henry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. First carry now for Justice Hill. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Give him two yards that time and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. up here tough spot needing 11 yards to pick up the first on third down here's Hill on a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40 that one good for 13 and a Raven first down well if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments they better find a way to get it done series to series I don't know if they need to sub some guys out bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. It's the correct call. And yeah, this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he's finally taken down. It's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. And well, they went with a fullback dive that time. And, Brandon, when I was a kid, the fullback carried the ball equally as much as the, the running back, then known as the halfback. Nowadays, the fullback's job is to block. Put him out in front. Let him clear a path. They still have a couple more chances here from the one. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer. But he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. Jackson's going to keep it. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. 
keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Ravens post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be out right at the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go, because he might wander into some tough coverage. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Second and a couple. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Hurts fumbles it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. But that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. To the right side, he's got Parker. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 
Here's Hurts to throw. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Play action. Here's Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Ravens offense back out there. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. A first down carry for Henry. And able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now it's Jackson. This will go to Henry out wide. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Jackson to throw. This goes to a former eagle, Nelson Aguilar. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 23, this is second and three. Two 
To throw again is Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Jackson. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. Now Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman laying himself out in the end zone. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now See on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. This is Smith with a grab. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. 
This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay at a seven-point game. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining Coach. first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. And a loose football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So that is not the way you want to begin the half when you're only up by one score, a turnover right away. And my guess that in the locker room, that's what the defensive coordinator of the other side was saying. We've got to find a way to get the football back for our offense. And they were able to do it. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Off the play fake, Hughes Hurts. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The sack there by Roquan Smith. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short gain. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard.
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh, they yeah. only gave up the field yeah. goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They'll look to throw. Smith catches left side. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. He'll drop to throw. And a little floater there is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. Over the middle to Smith. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Forced out to his left. Hurts fumbles it. Oh, 
fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. And even 20 yards for Saquon Barkley. And the Eagles have taken the lead here this third quarter. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now 17-14. Now, for the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now here come the Ravens. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And out across midfield down to the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope <laughs> someone would come free. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Jackson now. Throw caught by Flowers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. He finds Bateman over the middle. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Dancing to his left. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Now it's Jackson. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at them. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. 
They go play action with Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Ravens have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Hurts to throw. Throwing the out route, he's got Parker. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And now it's third and three. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back, who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is... Do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? Taking it right down Broadway. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Inside handoff, Henry. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And his throw is incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. third down and that sets up a first and goal and that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going they take valuable time off the clock as well they have to feel really good about that last completion so first and goal six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football. That his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talents. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense. Maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This short throw caught by Goddard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And yeah, Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll get this up past the 35 yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hertz sets up to throw it. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Travis Jones busting through to get him for a loss of six. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. 
How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it? Did a great job of wrapping him up. Under pressure, they got him again. Travis Jones able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. This offensive line starting to win up front. You win that battle in the trenches, you can kind of wear them down here late. So you bring in the second part to that equation, and that's the big running back, the big bruiser, who can get more than what's blocked and break a few extra tackles and gain yardage. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 61 yards rushing for him now to this point. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Henry. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Derrick Henry from a yard away bowling his way in. And the Ravens have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. Tucker now to add the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. 
Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Let's go do this thing, baby. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Let's go, baby. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Parker, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. 
And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter 